What's up everybody, Crazed here, and today I'm actually playing a little bit of a... What was this game called? I can't even remember. It was actually a little Halo 3 game. Uh, I was just like sumo, that's what it was. You had to push each other out of the hill. And it was actually really fun to play. I love this game. <laughs> Halo 3, uh, despite its faults of the... Uh, let's just say, uh, the shooting wasn't all the best. I think Halo 2's was much better. But um, I think it did offer such variety, such variety in gameplay. If you wanted to make some crazy maps like this, you could do it. The only game I think that has surpassed this uh, in terms of just variety of creation uh, for uh, gamers and for Halo players would be Halo Reach. Absolutely, Halo Reach. The <laughs> I hate to say that because Halo 5's Forge and customization is incredible but I don't know there was something about Halo Reach's customs that really hit I think the biggest part about it and there I go the biggest thing I think is the uh, just the options available you had so many options uh, so many different game types you could use uh, so many different uh, things uh, you just get creative. Now, I'm not saying Halo 5, you can't. It's just, it came out late, it was limited, and it's still fairly limited, especially in game types, unless you get creative and make your own game types with uh, some of the brain functions, uh, some of the alternate functions. It should just be there and simple. We shouldn't have to go out of our way to make a King of the Hill game uh, or something like that. Uh, and, of course, variants of it. Uh, that's just my opinion there, but I think Halo Reach by far even surpassed uh, Halo 3 in its options uh, that it could do and Halo 4 was kind of a little step back uh, a lot of the options I wish that were there uh, just weren't um, But eh, I guess that's neither here nor there at this time, but uh, Good old times good old times anyways. I'm sorry. I rambled on a little bit there, but um, just had a lot of fun playing some Halo uh, Hill 3 uh, back into MCC and I'm really excited, really excited. A little bit of news, not not a whole lot, as you probably heard by now, is that Halo Reach is coming to PC, or that's the directed date uh, sometime uh, this week, I'm hoping, or it might be at least next week, but... Uh, it's coming soon. It is coming very soon, and we will start getting... Well, that was an epic fail. Who did that? Oh, that's probably me. <laughs> but Halo Reach is coming to MCC, uh, the PC side of it uh, so far. So really looking forward to getting into that and uh, getting back into forging in Halo Reach. Because, man, I had so much fun forging in Halo Reach. That's my starter ground. Halo Reach Forge, that's where I started forging. Or as I just want to forge. <laughs> uh, there's so much I like about each and every forge, but uh, <laughs> each of them had their downfalls. Halo Reach was very similar to Halo 3. Um, you could only place an object, and you had to go into your menus and um, every time. So it had its downfalls too. It was a little clunkier in the UI. However, overall, it was a really great forge. Um, Really looking forward to whatever Infinite's got. Of course, we won't see that for a while, but uh, 2020. We probably won't even see Forge until maybe uh, <laughs> fall next year. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't do what they do with Halo 5 and leave it out until like six months after release. I don't think that's going to be the case this time around. But Anyways, this is crazy. I'm still kicking here, so I hope you guys have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Comment, like, and subscribe.